first-year students have their ophthalmology lab to learn the basic structures of the eye. This lab concentrates on dogs and cats. So here's the plan. To examine this dog's right eye, I'm going to hold the ophthalmoscope up to my right eye. And about here, I'm at the right distance to do a good fundic exam with my instrument. Students start by using their ophthalmoscopes on animal models. This cat is almost like a stuffy. She's so darn good. Yeah, we can do it on her? So, so absolutely. Okay. A very important aspect of becoming a veterinarian is to recognize what's normal so that whenever we see an abnormal eye, we know what it is. Because most of the time, you know, most things are normal. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to try yeah, to find it. got yes. it. You did? Uh-huh. Okay, good. Yay. You want to check? Sure. I wasn't an animal science major. I didn't take anatomy and physiology in undergrad or as part of my post back courses. So the eye lab, that was a little intimidating at first. Mm. All right, I have a, like a problem, which is like embarrassing, which is that like, I feel like I can't look through this without covering I, my other eye. I know. Uh, I like can't. Ideally, <laughs> ideally you're supposed to have both eyes open, let them accommodate, keep them both open as you look. But I fail at that, so it's okay in my book if you have to close the opposite eye. Okay. Yeah, it was a little bit frustrating. It's like, this is a basic skill I have to be able to do, and here my eyes are broken. Oh. I'm sorry, monkey. But Dr. McDee said it's okay, you just have to practice. So you can get a little patch. To get a patch? I'm gonna be like a pirate? What is this? <laughs> Or you can practice. I, yeah, I think that's a better solution.